year. Yeah. We ready for the summer right come, here. Come on, Smalls. We don't want no cold shit in the summer. We nah, want hot hits. Nah, nah. Real your hot. boy, Smalls. I'm the... Streets are where I grew up. The beats are what I blew up. When I'm on the mic, I got no pity. This is my city and I love the stroll. Okay, we're getting ready, so I'd like to do a look for you guys. Okay. I'm trying to adjust the lighting, the camera angle, so I hope you can see what I'm doing. Basically, I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion as well as Benefits Lemonade. Right now, I'm taking MAC Nylon Eyeshadow and I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye on both sides. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. I love this color. If you don't have this color yet, you really need to get it. It's great as a highlight or as an inner corner color. It goes with so many different colors. I've paired it with pretty much anything. Um, and this is actually the first MAC color I ever bought. The first MAC eyeshadow I bought in 2004, I think. Not the exact same one, obviously, but... Um, it's the first shade I ever picked up. There we go. So see the first half of your eye, you're going to put that. Next, you're going to take Amber Light, also by MAC, which is this top one right there. And we are going to fill in almost the rest of your lid. Just leave the very, very tip, tip of the um, eyelid open. Now we're going to blend these two colors together once they're on. I really like this look. I did this the other day and I really liked it so I decided to do it today. I'm in kind of a hurry so I really hope I'm not rushing this. I'm just leaving the edge empty. Right now I'm going to take a MAC 224 and I'm just going to blend the area where these two meet. Just so you don't see a harsh line between two colors. Okay. We are now going to take the color Sketch, which is this one right here. It's like a reddish, brownish, purple something. And, and we're going to put that in the outer corner. And up into the crease. I think these colors look really pretty together. Back with the 224, we're going to blend the sketch into the amber light, right where they meet, and up into the crease. I'm trying to get the shape that I want. Once you have the shape that you're looking for, a trick is going to be to get a little bit of the color squishy flower and blend that into the sketch and you're going to see the color. It's going to be so pretty. I'm still using the same 224. Sushi Flower is a beautiful pink but it's very light and I have trouble wearing this color on its own because it never shows up on my skin. But when I blend it in with the sketch, it just creates the most prettiest color and it adds like almost like a pink reflex to the look. So I don't know if you can see it but it's really pretty and you'll see it even better when I line my eye. Okay, grab some of that sushi flour, and especially at the top, and it's just, you're not adding the color into the look, you're just adding it as you blend the sketch. So it's really simple and easy to do, and take a little bit of beauty mark, this may change this looks to be a little bit more purplish, I'm only going to put a little bit, just a drop right in the outer corner and just gonna create a little I give you gangsta shit, club joints too, riding with my crew, you know how I do. Line. And that's for me is gonna darken it out. And then I'm gonna blend that line into the sketch. Do the same thing on the other side, just a little line. Just wanna make sure it's even. 
just a little tiny line like that. I'm going to take a different blending brush. This is my Avon Mark brush, which I actually really like. And I'm just going to blend that out in the outer corner just to darken it up. If it gets too dark, yeah, we're going to add a little right sushi flower no to and soften it as well. Revlon Color State Liquid Liner in Black is Black, which I absolutely love. I totally recommend it to everybody. We're going to line our eyes now. One tip I have is sometimes I just turn my head and that, instead of like like that and it makes a pretty straight line instead of moving your hand okay, so we're going to line the next eye Next, I'm going to take a liner brush, I'm going to use a MAC 266, and I'm going to take nylon on the liner brush, Whoops. and I'm going to line right underneath the inner corner up into the tear duct. Do it on this one too. Okay, next, I'm going to take Amber Light. Same liner brush. In the middle. Get is next. And that's going to go right on the outer corner. So we need to do a highlight and take nylon again. And the 224 brush. Pick up nylon. Very lightly. We don't want a very heavy highlight. And then once it's on, you're just going to blend it so there aren't any harsh lines. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I am now going to line my lips. Actually, what I did was I put mascara on. I also touched up my blush a little bit, and I used as a highlight from um, the Fafi Eyes Shoe Quad Bold is Gold. It's a lustry um, gold with some sparkle and shimmer, so it's really nice to highlight over your blush. Okay, I'm going to use the eye, uh, excuse me, lip pencil in Whirl. To line yeah, my lips. Yeah, we're ready for the summer right here. Come on, small. I want no cold shit in summer. Uh, okay. Next, I'm gonna use Heatherette. Um, my favorite lipstick ever, Lollipop Lovin'. And then over this, I am going to use Purr by, as a lip gloss by MAC, and Purr. And that's it. That's your final look. Um, hope you can see my eyes. I will take pictures, which will probably show up in a better. And that is my final look, so I'm ready to go, and nobody's here yet, so I'm actually going to be on time. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you like the look. Bye. Running through the city ever since I was a young kid Will I go to hell for the shit that I did?